Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Thanks for coming here and putting on a show for us all. Yeah, it was a, I mean, it was a fabulous night. It was something for everybody. Real competitive fights. Uh, you know, winning fighters fighting each other. Um, that last fight, I, I, I was, I mean, it's so enjoyable and on the edge of your seat. The atmosphere was unbelievable. I mean, just both the guys deserve a big acc accolade. I did feel, though, I'm not being disrespectful to Brad, I did feel Nathan from done enough to win, but I'm not going to complain because uh, they both deserve credit for what happened there. Um, Liam Davis, I mean, what a performance. That is a world-class stoppage against a, you know, a top top quality operator and he'd done the job in style I mean absolutely in style and announced himself on the world stage no doubt about that we right. saw you literally jump out of your seat when Liam got that uppercut knockout the joy in your face talk to us about being a fan of the sport as well as a promoter well I just uh, you know he, he deserves such I mean when you look at what he's done was that his 15th fight and he's won the British Commonwealth European and now the, now the IBO. The other four belts are held, held by probably one of the best fighters, top two best fighters in the world. And what he did was 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 just brilliant. I mean, it was it from as soon as that first bell went, they got down on it, and he, he, I mean, he done a job on the guy, done an absolute job. That was phenomenal. Frank, um, what did you make of Joe Joyce's performance out there? Cash Ali, ten rounds, and got a stoppage at the end. Um, I suppose the general consensus online is largely disappointed with it, um, but what did you make of it? Well, look, he's coming off of two losses, um, let's say how it is, and it took him, I think it took him quite a while to get his rhythm, get his mojo going, and, you know, he did what he had to do at the end. Um, I think if he'd have pressed him a bit more earlier, he would have stopped him earlier, but, look, he got the stoppage, and he's got the cobwebs out of his system, it's on to the next one now. From the performance tonight, do you think he, he has another shot at the world level? I think it's, the, you know, there's a great fight between him and Joe Parker, a great rematch to be made there. And you'll find out then. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Frank, Dennis McCann tonight. Uh, in the build-up, Dennis McCann 2.0 down at the Rotunda. How impressed was you with him today? I was very impressed. You know, Brad's a, 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 a lovely fella, excellent fighter, a winning fighter again, I think he was 12-0 and 0 going into that and he comes from a, 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 a really good stable of guys and they've got a good manager and trainer in Paul Stevenson very well prepared, but I thought Dennis um, was was the better fighter obviously on the night I think he, he, he boxed extremely well, very patiently and uh, it was, a, it was a, a great performance from him, no doubt about that. Could we see the rematch with Baluta next for Dennis? That's what we'd like to do, yeah, that's what we'd like to do. Um, just on uh, Pierce, uh, yeah, Pierce. Uh, Pierce on St. Patrick's oh, yeah. Eve, yeah. absolute wonderful performance, uh, you know, Big Bang Pierce O'Leary, he um, gave a great show and a great uh, stoppage as well. I've got to say something, I, I was just doing this thing on TV and I apologised to him because they were asking me about the fights and uh, they didn't mention him. And they didn't, for some reason, apparently weren't, they didn't mention him in the build-up or, or so I was told. He put in a great performance oh, tonight, very good performance, really looked good in doing it. You know, he, yeah. he, was, he was very controlled. Against a tough opponent, exactly. by the way, a guy who, who really showed some so, yeah, you know, show some heart, but but the stoppage was brilliant. It was because Pierce's usually get guys out early, you know, yeah. and this guy didn't. He went down, but he got back up, and I thought, oh, Pierce could be in trouble here. He isn't used to going into the trenches, but he did, and you know, great from the other guy, but great finish from Pierce to get that back that he'd never had to do before. Well, yeah, you've done my interview yeah. for me. Sorry. It was brilliant. No, that was good, and I agree with everything you're saying. It's brilliant. God bless. Frank, just uh, away from this cart. <laughs> yeah, let's do. And happy St. Patrick's Day to Piers. Hey, Piers and all of yeah. us. And all the boys, yeah. Frank, just uh, away from this card, did you see the Times article released today about boxer? Did you get a chance to read that? Somebody give it to me to read. I didn't really take it all in and, you know, it's not my business. It's their business. Let them sort it out, whatever it is. I mean, what's the, what was the concept? What was the... It was something about a payment or something? 
Yeah, it's involvement with, I think, sports washing and money and, yeah. I don't know. Well, that's their business. On a positive note, Frank, when can we expect another card like this, a, another Magnificent Seven, or could it be a Magnificent Six, Five, and in Birmingham as well? We will be doing another one very, very soon. It's and a good formula. It's yeah. a really good formula. It gives guys a chance to shine, and out of it, you get stars. You know, stars are born and they, they suddenly get this platform they're on. It, we get good viewing figures for it. It gets good attention, good media attention. And that's what it's all about. It's bringing the stars of the future through. Right. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Frank, one, one from me. Go on. uh, what, what's that for Piers O'Leary? What's, what's next for him? I was just saying to the gentleman over there, you know, Piers is... Uh, that was an exceptional performance tonight in a tough fight against a very good opponent who come to fight. And he had to, you know, he made him think. And at the end of the day, you know, he, he works it out and he broke him down. And it was a really well timed and good stoppage. And do we have a Moses Otoma opponent for next week yet? Yeah? Um, we are announcing it on Monday. Perfect. Frank Amy Khan here, four seconds out. I just want to get into you put a tweet after Joe Joyce's win, comeback win against Cash Ali. What do you want to see Joe Joyce in? What fight do you want to see him with him next? Oh. People said Dylan White. Some people said retirement. What do you make of that? Difference. Well, look, you know, he, he he lost two fights going into that, and you know, having been on a real roll, and for me, he had to get the cobwebs out of his system, and he, he eventually did it. Um, I, I would like to have seen him done it earlier, obviously, but you know, it takes two sometimes to fight, and Cash um, did fight most of the time on the back foot, but he did what he had to do, stopped him, and now we'll see where we go. I mean, for me. There's various options out there. One of them could be a rematch with Joe Parker. Another one could be a fight with Daniel Duvall. Do you get why people will say or call for Joyce to retire? Would, would that ever come from yourself or would you leave the team to make that decision? I'd leave that as a team to make it. I mean, you know, it wasn't. <laughs> I'd say to retire to somebody if he's taking a good idea or taking a real good belt in there. But he didn't. He won the fight. You see fighters come and go. What would you do with Anthony Joshua next after that brilliant, brutal knockout? Anthony Joshua, he's got to continue what he's doing. He's got to keep winning while these guys, uh, the two best heavyweights in the world, fight on the May the 18th. And there's a rematch after that. And these guys are all got to, you know, you want to be there at the end of it. You want to fight if the titles are fragmented or get a shot at the unified champion. You've got to keep winning. Frank, I see it seems to be falling and falling and falling, Frank. What would you do if you were advising him? What What's would you look at? He seems to be like crying on, on, on space. I think that's such a, it's such a tragedy. He obviously needs some help. And the last thing he needs to be doing at the moment is thinking about fighting. He needs his mental well-being and he needs, he needs support of his friends and family right now because obviously something's wrong. And I, 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 not, I don't want to be kicking somebody when they're obviously down and suffering. When you're that way, you shouldn't be fighting. You should take a break and get yourself get yourself better and getting into a better place. And let's hope all of us in boxing hope that's what he'll do. Do you think that fight goes ahead? I can't see if he's... I mean, I haven't seen this today. But what you're saying's happened. How can it go ahead? Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.